In this video, I'm going to simplify the Neville Carter techniques so that you can apply them and understand them and apply them right away. So let's get into it. The very first thing we need to understand is Neville Goddard believed in we are the creative power. And what he meant by that, the main theme of all the Neville Goddard teachings is we are the operant power, we are the creative power, and we have the power to change our outer world. So basically our outer world is a reflection of our inner world, our inner state of mind, or you can say our consciousness. That is what Neville wanted to share through his books and his lectures. So what is expressed, impressed is expressed in 3D reality. What I mean by that, Neville said consciousness is the only reality. Therefore, we must form the object of our own desire out of our own consciousness. Okay, so whatever we desire, we have to create from our consciousness and that consciousness will get replicated into our 3D world. I call the physical world, the real world, the reality, the 3D world because reality is a very subjective term. So the basic concept behind this is whatever we impress upon our subconscious mind, that will be expressed in our 3D reality. So for example, if you want to manifest a job, every day you visualize before you go to bed that somebody's congratulating on yourself getting a job that image will be impressed in your subconscious mind and eventually that image will be expressed into your 3D reality that will come to fruition or that will actually happen. So the next point, these are the very simple steps, very simple steps, I will take you quickly through them. Step one is the desire, define your objective. It is very, very important and Neville also mentioned that to be very clear, as clear as possible, sometimes you cannot be exceptionally clear but as clear as possible on what you want. Be very clear. If you want a promotion and if you want a job, if you can be clear on what kind of job and if you include that detail in, the, in, in your imaginary conversation or in, in your visualization, that will come to fruition. So be as clear as possible. Sometimes you might not have all the details, but that is okay. Sometimes you want to have a relationship, but you're not sure exactly what kind of look or what kind of personality or what kind of characteristics you want from that person but you have some criteria like X, Y, Z uh, but you don't have all the details. That is okay. Uh, you can just go ahead with that and that will help you create it in your 3D world. Um, don't think about the how. This was the biggest hang up when I got into manifesting. I was like, okay, I want extra thousand dollars. I want this, I want that. Uh, it will come through my job. I always do think that extra money, the extra one thousand dollars a month which I wanted will always come from my job. And these kind of hangups can actually slow down your manifestation. Don't think about the how, just imagine it and then drop it and trust that it is done. It is done. And the next point is to construct an event. As I already mentioned about imaginal conversation or visualization, what you do is you construct an event which you believe you would encounter following the fulfillment of your desire. Very important to remember, following the fulfillment of your desire. An event which implies fulfillment of your desire. Something which will only happen if your wish has been fulfilled. For example, if you get a job and uh, you can imagine your best friend or your coworker or somebody congratulating you and saying, hey, congratulations, Sam, or whatever your name is. Hey, congratulations on getting that job. That's awesome. And you will say back and you will reply like, hey, thanks, man. I'm so grateful. I got the, exactly the kind of job I was looking for. And you just, this small scene, you construct this event, add the tones of reality you can. Maybe you see a certain person who's saying, maybe you see their face, maybe you see a smile on their face. Um, um, you see the expression, the way they're talking to you. Maybe you see a room, maybe you see a coffee shop. It could be different things. But just focus on the, the conversation, which is the most important thing. And you, you create that scene from a first person point of view. You create that scene and you loop it, loop it again and again before you go to bed or when you're in a relaxed state. Now, point number three, critical point, is to immobilize your physical body. 
the third step is to immobilize your physical body and induce a state akin to sleep not sleep because when we sleep we lose uh, the power to consciously control uh, our mind we will not be able to impress anything on our subconscious mind so we need to have some sort of conscious control but we don't want to be fully awake and alert so what you do is this is that's why just before bedtime is the best time so you can impress your subconscious mind so what you do is mentally feel yourself right into the proposed action imagine all the while that you are actually performing the action here and now so for example if my friend is congratulating me i can imagine him saying hey high five or giving me a handshake or something saying you did amazing congratulations you got that job i'm so happy for you and you say hey man thanks so much i'm so grateful like i found the kind of job i was looking to work so many hours i wanted to earn so much money i exactly got what i wanted thank you so much and just this small scene and you see this scene happening here now it is very important to remember that when you are in that imaginal state you're not imagining from you know some other point in the past or in the future anywhere you are imagining as if that future is here now you're seeing it from your eyes and you're imagining as if that future is here now and you must participate in the imaginary action so i'm giving a high five i'm clapping i'm replying so i'm participating in the imaginary action not merely stand back and look onto it because a lot of people when they do visualize they look at like a movie screen but that's not how you see you see from a first person point of view and imagining whatever conversation sensation you have is real to you imagine as real as you can make it and loop this again and again before you go to bed or is somewhere sometimes when you're relaxing during the day the best two times are in the morning or in the night before you go to bed and all you need to do is that so the key points to remember because a lot of people get hung up on manifesting or something the proposed action must be the one which follows the fulfillment of your desire okay one one which implies fulfillment okay getting a call for an interview does not imply fulfillment that you got a job it just implies that you got a call for an interview that's very different than something or someone um than actually getting a job it's a very different outcome okay so you imply after which follows the fulfillment of your desire that is what you need to focus on okay so for your example so you desire promotion in the office being congratulated would be an event that you would encounter following the fulfillment of your desire not getting a call for an interview not having your interview go well but the going to the end and the last point is the most effective way to embody the desire is to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled and then in a relaxed sleepy drowsy state repeat over and over again like a lullaby any short phrase which implies fulfillment of your desire such as thank you thank you thank you as you you are addressing a higher power for having given you what you desired so like i say congratulation i i say thanks to my friend thank you i'm so grateful i got the exactly the kind of job i wanted these many hours and that kind of pay and this kind of responsibility and this kind of freedom i'm so grateful i'm so thankful okay and i just loop that 4 5 second scene over and over again before i go to bed or just before i wake up in a relaxed state and it gets impressed in your subconscious mind hope you found this video useful stick around for more videos in this series i want to make this video short and concise as possible and i want to get you, give you all the value as i can in a short video until then take care and keep going with your manifesting journey good luck